it's a Dash 2. No way! He's bought my car. Hello. Hello. Can we just soak in the fact that we have just landed in Dubai and, <laughs> and <laughs> now piloting an AMG GTS? How do we get out? We've just touched down in Dubai. We've got over two weeks of complete carnage that starts in this car. I'm so excited. I was originally going to start this video on a bit of a a bit of a negative vibe from the last seven days that I've had, which I probably will discuss in the next 24 hours. But right now, there is no escaping the fact that this is goddamn epic. <laughs> Dark blue AMG GTS, firstly, looks amazing. We've got the proper AMG wheels, and then we've got the race seats. So this interior is very similar to mine, and it just it's incredibly nostalgic. And I love this car. <laughs> One of my favorite cars I've owned, if not, my favourite car that I've owned. Full Alcantara steering wheel oh, yes. means that it's, got the, that it's got the dynamic plus package. Good knowledge. Which means this thing will go around corners. <laughs> <laughs> now, as we start escaping the airport, you're going to start seeing the real Dubai. And honestly, I always think first impressions are so important on a new place. If you experience it right the first time, yeah. you'll fall in love. And honestly, I don't think that there is a better way to experience this place than cruising in this car. And not with the itinerary we have over the next two weeks as well. Exactly. This is how you do the airport transfer. Let's take a quick look at this car whilst we are under some showroom lighting. Oh, this is sick. Yes! We're here. <laughs> that is everything that you need in a car. And I have basically driven this for 10 minutes and already want one again. Let's unpack, get up to our Airbnb, get ourselves checked in, meet up with Aziz, who you may remember from two years ago we did the yacht tour. Aziz showed us around the lovely Seas 500 yacht. That is where we're going to be spending the three days over the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So that is very, very exciting. But let's get our bags out, get checked in and go side car spotting. Aziz is coming to meet us now. He is coming in a Lamborghini Huracan. This is so Dubai. He is coming in a Lamborghini Huracan and we're gonna convoy to get some dinner. It is half past 10, coming on 11 p.m. But this burger joint is apparently one of the best around and it is open super late. So we're gonna be having a two car supercar convoy. This is just what happens in Dubai. And then I think we're gonna go for a bit of a drive after. Both myself and Alex slept on the flight, which is quite good, meaning that we're not actually too tired. But I will definitely have to give you guys a tour of this place because this building has got a little bit of history this apartment is amazing and downstairs there are some really interesting cars and it is situated on a really really good little spot where hopefully we can car spot from our balcony so right now i'm just waiting for a text from aziz and then we're going to head down grab a burger meet up with him check out his car and uh, then go for a drive because that is what happens in dubai get that zoom game on because i can see hurricane It's a Dash 2! No way! He's bought my car!
this is what you call welcome to Dubai. Check out the rear wheel drive Hurricane sat next to the AMG GTS. Mr. Aziz, hey yo, what is good, up? Man? Welcome to Dubai, bro. How you doing? Very good, man. How are you doing? You excited How's for the weekend? Bro, bro, it's about to get crazy. <laughs> so for those that don't know, two years ago, Aziz hooked us up with the C500 yacht. C500, bro, all the way, the best or nothing else. Honestly. And that is what we're doing this weekend, right? And stay tuned for this weekend, best boat in the entire marina. And you're going to give me a tour again, right? Of course. It's a different yacht to it's two years ago. It's a much, it's a bigger and better yacht. Silence. Edition 1 AMG GTS. Pan round and boom. We've got my GTS, although I wish that was mine. Dash 2580. And we've also got Mohammed's 570S. It's tired, very tired. <laughs> this, is what, this is what happens to people, man. When you're setting up a yacht. When you're setting up the craziest yacht. It's <laughs> <laughs> happening again. No way. Yeah. We were just talking about this at dinner. It's saying key not found. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a party! <laughs> they didn't even know we were filming. That's just what happened. That's just them, that's just them being normal. Is that bike getting involved as well? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's an F12. Okay, it's morning number one in Dubai and I am very keen to get out and explore. But Paul is still asleep, so let's go and wake him up. All right, he's not answering, I'm just going in. Paul, come on! It's. <laughs> Mate, look at the sunshine! We need to get out and explore! Good morning, Dubai! It is about half past 11. I woke up at 9 am, which was UK time, 5 am, and went straight back to sleep, and now it is half past 11. So we have got a lot to do today. But firstly, we need to get ourselves set up with some data because out here, I landed and I got a text. I'm on three feel at home, which basically means most places abroad, I can use my phone SIM card. However, in Dubai, it is six pounds per one megabyte six pound per one megabyte which is extortionate i've also got a sim card which is an ee sim card meaning that it is six pound for 500 megabytes and if i'm here for two weeks or if i'm here for 20 days that means it is going to cost me 120 pounds for 10 gigabytes which seems very expensive as well so we're going to go get ourselves a local sim card hopefully prepaid with a hell of a lot more data on that is a lot cheaper because that just basically means that makes our life a lot easier we're on a local sim card a local number but we still get to use our whatsapp data and everything like that god damn it is hot <laughs> I think I'm gonna start the car. It's a panoramic roof, it's not good. Oh no! That Range Rover now thinks that we're leaving. Yes he does. We're gonna have to suck it up. I was gonna do an outro outside the car, but 
this Range Rover now is backing up so that he can take our spot. I can't see him, but... Right, anyway, as I was saying, originally I was gonna start this car up, let the aircon blow for a bit so that we could cool down, because this panoramic roof has just turned this car into a greenhouse and it is saying 31.5 degrees outside, so it is hot. We have successfully done what we needed to do in the mall. We're now gonna head back, we're gonna go to the supermarket, we're gonna buy water, we're gonna stock up, we're gonna basically put our fridge through its paces of what we can fill it up with. And that is it for our first 24 hours. Amazing. Alex is loving it so far. This place is insane. Made even better when you have an AMG GTS to cruise around in. So thank you Mercedes-Benz Dubai. This car will be with us for the next few days. We've got the Formula One coming up. Things are only just starting for us on this trip. So it is gonna be, it's gonna, honestly, it is gonna be awesome. So thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you very soon for the Seas 500 Yacht Tour. And I've seen a picture of it now, and it is massive. It, oh, it is about three times bigger than the one that we had two years ago.